Thanks for joining me. Um, today in this video I'm going to be going over some of the battery stuff. Um, basically this is all the structural part of the battery and I'm going to go over how I made it, um, some of the tools I use, some of the techniques. Um, this is just the shell. Um, there will be another video of the installation of the batteries into the actual structural modules and into the bike. Um, but it's been a long project for this battery and uh, it's all coming together and this is the first and final step. So super excited, follow along, um, enjoy the video, let me know what you think. So for mounting the high voltage battery, we're going to be setting up a steel perimeter, or almost a cage, per module. Um, this one's actually going to hold 44S 15P, and they have to be pretty stout because they're going to hold up to about 200 pounds per piece, but they can't be so big that they don't fit in the frame. So I'm using angle iron and flat bar, I'm going to put in some supports across here with some additional angle iron. Uh, right now I'm just laying everything up, making sure it's square, and welding it together. We got all the metal pieces. Took all day long, but there they are, kind of in their configuration. That's how they'll sit in the bike. This would be the bottom, and this would be the top here. So you can see kind of how we're all gonna fit in there. Still got some cleaning up to do, but you know, it's okay. It's a little dirty. It'll be all right. I'm gonna paint these, grind down the welds, paint them. And then uh, we'll be filling them up with the these batteries. These guys right here. I think they are 32, 650. These are from a prototype pack. You can see they've been resistance welded uh, with a stud and then also with a standoff. We're gonna be doing 15P, 15 in parallel, and 115S. So these are iron phosphate cells. They uh, have 3.2 nominal voltage and four amp hours. So they should be able to get some, some juice. Total pack size is gonna be 22 kilowatt hours. So I'll show it to you what it looks like in the module form. The battery started out as a traction pack for a dyno, which means that it was kind of like a bench mounted battery for motor testing. Um, and they were in 95S and 25P. And I had to unscrew each one. And uh, I might be filming some of this later. All right. Check the voltage across the poles. Make sure it's around 3.2. And then I reconfigured them.
next step is I have to build in some sort of structure here. I'm gonna have the modules mount to themselves, um, but I'll also have additional tabs and structures that um, hold them to the frame. So a lot of the weight should be transferred through these vertical pieces and also through the external shell and some additional roll bar pieces that I'm gonna be putting up on here. So that's it for this video. Um, we've got everything tacked in, roughed in place. I'm gonna spend a lot of time off camera finish welding all of this stuff. And like I said, there'll be a part two where I'll show the final construction of the actual battery and the installation into the bike and some of the techniques that I use for that as well. So thanks so much for following. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Have a good one.